Hello, this is going to be an overview of the Options and Preferences tab within the Shortel Communicator that we also referenced in our Shortel Communicator video itself. So where we're going to start here is our phone. Here we are in Primary Phone. We're going to want to add our cell phone to this, but also I want to show you the soft phone option here if said user has access to this license. That will determine the ability to use the soft phone function. There's two ways to get here. We can press Configure Phones here and it will bring this up, or as I said, this is going to be um, an Options Preferences video, so you can go to Options and it will pull up these preferences uh, after clicking on the Shortel logo here. So we're just going to go down this bar here and go over what all of these mean. So first, we're going to add here our cell phone. So we've added the cell phone here. This is known as ext extension assignment. You also see here, I'm jumping ahead a bit, the 6632, that is for mobility. That's going to be uh, expanded upon in an additional video. Um, so for now, ignore this and we'll deep dive into that later. But for now, we've assigned a cell phone to our mobile number here. We click apply. OK. And you will be able to go into primary phone and add mobile and change it to where it is ringing your phone. What's going to happen is if you were to make a call here or if someone was to call your number your cell phone would ring and it would give you the ability to accept the call. The unique feature about this is that your voicemail stays on the Shortel system itself rather than the individual's cell phone's voicemail. So Let's go back to options. And you do have the ability to add more 10-digit numbers, but we're going to stick with this. Incoming call routing. Now this is going to be option number two to make your cell phone ring. We can also have it ring in standard mode, simultaneously ring the mobile. This is known as twinning. In addition to extension assignment, you can have it ring simultaneously, which in the world of telephony um, is known as twinning, as I referenced. Here's where you can select your different modes, such as standard, in a meeting, out of office, extended absence, and custom. And you can have twinning occur when in these modes. If you'll remember in our last video, you can choose the mode that you're in here. And that can also integrate in with Outlook, which we'll touch on in a bit later. So coming down here, you can also do what's known as Find Me. This is going to be the third method to have someone reach your cell phone. Here we have it happening whenever you're in standard mode and it rings that phone, essentially what's going to happen is we have it right now sending the caller ID, so it's going to bounce that call to your cell phone. Whenever that user gets your voicemail, it's going to sit your voicemail would say something like, thank you for calling us, um, we're unavailable, and you can press 1 to find me. And then at that point, it's going to bounce that user to your cell phone, and the caller will record their name, and the user will have the ability to accept or reject that call. If they reject and it goes to voicemail, that does stay on the Shortel voicemail system. All three of the methods we've discussed here, uh, extension assignment, simultaneous ring, which is twinning, or find me at the following phones, all stay on the Shortel voicemail system. That's very important. We'll get on a fourth method uh, here in a moment. Let's go through the call handling modes. Um, Currently it's in standard, as we discussed um, the different ones here. But what this what you can do here is you can have someone have the ability to change your call handling mode. Uh, possibly an operator, uh, maybe a front desk assistant who sees people going in and out of the office, or a supervisor in some type of uh, call setting can go in and change, okay, I see that he's busy, uh, maybe if they uh, overlook that, if that's part of your daily operations, you can do that. You can also determine when the Shortel Communicator is started. So coming down here, let's look at the different call handling modes, the options you have to customize these. One thing that's unique is you have the ability right here on your PC to record a different greeting for each. Typically what we see is that in standard, it will go to voicemail whenever busy or after X number of rings. So we have it going here to the voicemail after six rings or when the call is busy. In a meeting, 
out of office and extended absence. Now keep in mind you can customize these to your liking but we typically always forward these to a voicemail or um, some other destination but typically a voicemail and these three. Custom is what we typically use to of course do it in a custom fashion for a customer. You can do things uh, you know the first three we mentioned were extension assignment, simultaneous ring, and find me. This is the fourth method here that we typically use. We'll have it always forward to a destination and here you can change that destination but we, do, we have it set to the cell phone that I programmed earlier. What's different about this fourth option is that your voicemail will be off of the Shortel system. So just note the first three methods, extension assignment, twinning, and find me, you're on the Shortel voicemail this method you are off. But now we've we've gone over four different ways out of the box that you can get calls on your cell phone. Here we have the ability um, to customize that further. Going over the voicemail tab here, you have the ability to do a couple of things here. You're going to be able to play voicemails through your PC speakers or through your actual handset microphone itself. You can have an, a WAV file delivered to your email with that. That would be set up during the actual install itself or just a simple notification saying that you have a voicemail. We can do either one. WAV files can actually be listened to on your cell phone if you're out in the field and you have voicemail to, I'm, I'm sorry, you have email, your exchange server hooked up, then you can actually go in on your smartphone and listen to that WAV file. That's very useful for um, people that work outside in the field, not only can you get your calls forwarded to you four different ways, but you can still listen to your voicemail without having to dial in. Escalation, we can deep dive further into this in another video. This is typically used in settings uh, that are handle emergency situations or um, need some type of call ex escalation to reach other people in the organization. If person number one doesn't answer, it will go to two, three, and so on. The Outlook tab here, this is for the Outlook integration itself. We can upload contacts and we can actually install a voicemail media plug in Outlook itself. What's unique about this is whenever, remember this works in conjunction with your handset. So you have a handset where your LED is blinking telling you that you have a voicemail. You listen to said voicemail in your Outlook app and your phone will recognize that that's been listened to and will stop the LED blinking and not show that you have a voicemail anymore. Here's also another feature that I touched on in the communicator video. It's the Outlook integration. There's also going to be a hook, a plug-in, whenever you create a calendar meeting in Outlook for you to choose your call handling mode. If you see here, Craig is out of office. You will have the same option to do this whenever you set meetings and it will make these correspond with what you pick for that meeting. Here's the telephony tab. This is more for configuration. This is something that uh, during administrative training that we dive into with your techs and typically the end user does not touch this. Here's the soft phone option. This will be grayed out if you do not have the access to this, but you can basically do some of the uh, customization here for soft phone setup. Video plug. There is an option for a, a video conferencing type um, setup within Shortel itself. This will also be grayed out if this is not enabled for the user. Again, these things that we're going over are contingent on the access given through the admin portal. Sounds. These here are the uh, pops that happen whenever you get a voicemail or such. Uh, typically we have these set for no noise on the computer um, and a voicemail to make a sound, but we can change that as well. We have the ability to change the communicator language to other languages. Here the only license is for English itself. And then we have the customization tab. We can go in and even further customize this. So this has been a brief overview of the options and preferences tab within the Shortel communicator. I'd like to thank you for watching and again I would recommend starting with the initial communicator video and then diving into this one to learn some of the more features. Thank you.